Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be finishing up part 3. I'm on part 3 of Little Misfortune. So far we've made it to Phantasmagoria. And I think we just we just left from the, the zoo talking to the, the wolf. Apparently that's Benjamin's cousin. And we had, we're looking for his address. We're trying to find the fox because apparently he stole our happiness, our eternal happiness. So now Mr. Voice got us out here looking for Benjamin. So we made it to Phantasmagoria. I don't know what the sound is. I think it's the um the thing to do. To yeah, it's that. Okay, I was trying to figure out what that noise was. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. Okay, this is where we left off so far. Everybody's still wearing the mask. What's this? Oh, balloons. I love balloons. Just so you know that I love balloons. <laughs> okay, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Hey, you, from the other side, Miss Fortune deserves to have a fun time, so try to make the right choices for her, all right? That one just took off. I still don't trust Mr. Voice now, I don't know. I, feel, I still feel like he's setting us up for something. He's been trying to get rid of Benjamin since day one. Hmm, I just have one ticket, so I can just ride one ride. I'm gonna look around first. All right. The only right one. Whoa, what is that? <laughs> hey, you know, once I saw a documentary on TV about hot dogs. And now I don't want to eat hot dogs. I ain't had a hot dog in so long. <laughs> I guess we ain't eating this. <gasps> Sorry about that. I was just trying to pull your leg. If you do it one more time, I'll just shut my eyes tight and see nothing. It is ironic that it's a fox. This looks like Benjamin, but creepier and angrier. Exactly. Oh, they want us to throw glitter. Yeah. That's <laughs> our Benjamin. That's the one we know. Don't step on me now. So we can find only one ride. They're gonna miss some posters again. Check out those sweet unicorns. Look, little baby sweet unicorn. This is your family. Say hello. Did you <laughs> say? Okay. Now say bye bye and we'll go. Is this the ride you want to spend your ticket on? Is this the ride you want to spend your ticket on? I mean, I feel like there's more rides, but I just want to weigh my options first. So I'm gonna say no right now. Not sure yet. I'm gonna look around more. Yeah, let's just let's just look around. I forgot we could run. The mean children at school say <laughs> that I have a pumpkin head. I can see the resemblance. Oh, the what? Nothing. Huh, okay. But that's rude. Ah, the smell of freshly made candy is delightful. Ah, yes. Too bad we can't afford any. There's some candy on the ground. I could use the party hat to make my own mixed candy cone. Come um, on, Miss Fortune. Don't even think about don't. it. Please don't. I'm doing it. Ugh. Are you really gonna eat some of it? <sighs> Are you really gonna eat some of it? Yes or no? From what I've learned from this game is that I cannot pick up anything. I cannot be responsible for animals, anybody's life in general, but we, oh my gosh. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna regret this later, but let's just find of out what it is. Of course, it's free candy, delicious. Exactly, it's free, but. Uh, um. Is that cigarette buzz and peels? Oh. Just, oh my god. I just made it worse. Oh. oh. That was horrible. Did you see like the mom? She was like a skeleton and the dad just 
combusting into flames. That's, that's how you say it. My heart hurts. What is it, Miss Fortune? I don't know. I think the candy made me feel bad. Well, I told you not to eat it. Yeah, that's true. Silly me. Oh, Lord. Happiness to Miss Fortune. <laughs> oh, much better. I'm just surprised that she didn't fall over like she usually does she, or throw up. That's normally what she did. Because I think that's like the, the second time she's done that. But I'm glad nothing happened to her. This. Oh, sweet. That haunted house must be terrifying. Is this the ride you want to spend your ticket on? How many rides are there in total? I'm just saying no for now. Not sure yet. I'm gonna look around more. Yeah. It does look kind of fun, I'm not gonna lie. Before we leave, don't you want to use your ticket? Ah, yes, my ticket, of course. Oh, so... There's only two rides? The horror house or... This one looks more... This one looks yeah. better than the All right, then. The Have a pleasant ride. Please don't let me regret this. Oh, yeah. I will sit back. <laughs> Part of the haunted house and not real. That hero? Oh, she's gonna do it. She's gonna throw up? Oh, I don't feel so good. I'm feeling this. You think you're going to puke? I don't want to, but the ride went too fast. It was fun. Alright, good. Take a deep breath, and you'll soon feel better. <sighs> okay. Good, good. Now, let's go find that boat. That boat? <sighs> okay, I'm okay. I mean, it wasn't that bad like as I thought it was. I wonder what it would have been like if I took the carousel. I don't, I don't have another ticket, so I can't get back on the ride. But yep, that was the horror house. Ooh. Yeah. It was Hero! We finally saw it. Hero! What's he doing here? He's a ghost? Yeah, I remember, I remember in the first part of my episode. Yeah, she, she mentioned he was a ghost. He wore a cowboy boots and a hat. Ah, oh, there's a bunch of games here. Can I play one? Oh, of course. You must play one before we leave on the boat. I just love it here, don't you? <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> I want to play a game now. Massacre. Now with real bullets. What the hell? Whack a fox. Are they all just fox related? Mr. Voice, can I get a balloon? Because my mommy never gave me one. So maybe you can give me one. Well, you know we can't afford any, but look! Oh, look. What's that? A floating balloon! Fancy! Is it for me? Yes! Okay, <laughs> thank you. I get to keep it? Oh! Ah, uh, here's my luck. Oh, Miss Fortune, I'm sorry about the balloon. Don't worry. Thank you anyway. Oh. Oh, you look menacing. Sweet, a fortune teller. Can I try this? It looks like you need a reward ticket. Uh, okay. I need a ticket? Shake those sweet rewards. A golden sugarly coin, a cute tiny skirt, and a doll. Ah, uh, damn it. I'm kinda low on reward tickets. Yeah, I ain't got none. So, a unicorn is two. The little gold medal is one and the doll is three. So I'm gonna need six in total. Ooh, 
I'm gonna need six tickets. Have a message in them? A message? It says you need one golden coin to ride the boat. Huh. Oh. Okay. Is that the one down there? The no one's on the vending machine? So how many get the tickets? So we play these games? Check this out. I can get a reward ticket oh. if I win. <laughs> I'm gonna play this. Please, go ahead. I can't wait to see what it's about. Of course. You just want to see me hit Benjamin. Are these tiny foxes like Benjamin? Yeah. They're dangerous foxes. Pretend they all stole your eternal happiness and whack them. Whack them. Okay. Oh. Oops. Oh no, oh. I missed. Sorry. Boink. <laughs> Damn it. Sorry. Oops. Damn it. I didn't win. Well, you can try as many times as you want. Ah, okay. <laughs> Damn it. Boink. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oops. Oh, I actually got one. Nice. <laughs> That's only one. Yes, I won. Great whacking misfortune. I'm gonna play again, because how many I gotta get? I gotta get. I gotta get at least six. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I think I'm Sorry. getting sick of the controls. <laughs> Sorry. That was easy. So I'm just gonna get these and see how many I can get. So I think I'm gonna try the other game now. Okay, so th the other one was one with the with the real bullets. This one is free. I want to play it. Oh, please do play it. Play it as much as you want. Really? Oh, you'll see. Right. Watch this. Well, check this out. Now with real bullets. Oh my god. <laughs> I I think I broke the game. It looks like it. Oh. It ain't let me play. It just sat on fire. <laughs> so I guess they just want me to whack the fox, I guess. Ain't no telling how long it's gonna take, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. So I went and got seven just to be sure. Because I do want to get all of that stuff in the reward thing, the vending machine over here. So it took a while. It didn't take that long, surprisingly. But I wanted to get all of them just to be sure if I needed all of them just in case. So I got, yeah, I got seven. So I, I want to at least get the doll. Cool, one of those dolls again. I want it. Reality will transform into what the child desires the most. Reality will transform into what the child desires the most. Oh, huh, really? A desire, you say? I mean, yeah, it's starting to make a little bit of sense I now. I like desires. What did you choose? Nothing. Yeah, she doesn't mention whenever she gets the doll, she doesn't tell Mr. Voice. That golden chocolate coin looks delicious. I'll take that. Alright, so we got the gold coin. I'm assuming that's the gold coin. That's the only gold coin I see. <laughs> I know who will look amazing in this tiny skirt. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> there you go, unicorn. You look like a sweet little lady. 
So I think we got all of them now. Yep, we we are rich lady. <laughs> I got an achievement. It says rich lady. I guess because I got all of the vending machine prizes. I think I already did. Yeah. I also want to know what this was. Sweet, a fortune teller. Can I try this? I think we got a ticket, yeah. Hello, I'm Miss Fortune Ramirez Hernandez, and I want to know the future of me. Please, thank you. <laughs> Once you see the beyond, the beyond sees you, and you can be sure it will be coming for you. <gasps> the beyond is coming for me? <laughs> What's the beyond? Want to try again? I'm out of tickets. Nah. What she want? She just walked up on me like that. Look at them birds in the background. If you can see, I see some birds back there. Let's let's head back out of here. The beyond is coming to get me. Um, check this boat out. It's like a black swan. How cool is that? Really, really cool. Tell me about it. Anyway, this boat will take you where you need to go. You mean to Benjamin's house? Yes, and it's just one golden coin. I got the sweet chocolate coin reward. Is that good? I don't think that would... <laughs> no, see, it's fine. Oh, look at that. Well, are you ready to leave? Leave the boat of Steve and Phantasmagoria. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. This is going to be so cool. I hope we don't get attacked by virus, though. <laughs> or the Kraken. What's a Kraken? Well, if you see it, you'll know. But tell me, I'm curious now. We don't have time for that, Miss Fortune. Just forget it. Ugh, but now I'll think about it forever. <laughs> Are we about to get on this boat with this ominous looking Grim Reaper? Just keeps getting weirder and weirder. Ah, oh, Kraken! If you appear in front of me, I will see you. And if I see you, I will know it is you. Sweet Kraken, come up in front of me right now. <laughs> oh, what's a freaking Kraken? Hey, this place is very quiet. Is one allowed to talk? Anyway, I was thinking, is the Kraken available for petting? You know, like, uh, some pet doggies, some pet kitties. <laughs> I want to pet the Kraken, if it's possible. Well, I heard you could lure it out with fish. With fish, you say? Well, the only fish I know is buried. Hey, Mysterious, are you taking me now to the house of Benjamin? You know, that blue-eyed, soft, fluffy fox who happens to be a great artist and stole my happiness? You don't seem to want to talk about it. And why is that you collect coins? That's how you pay for your rent and food, right? Miss sure Fortune, asking the question. just leave him alone. <laughs> no, he wants to hear. Anyway, do you like to eat sushi? I know about sushi because I have a Japanese ghost friend. By the way, can you speak Japanese? I need some translations. Do you know what this means? Kiribado kudasuka. So you don't know, huh? You know, I have never that been music. outside this late by myself. Do you go outside by yourself this late every day? Oh Are you going God. to eat my chocolate coin? Because I'm a bit hungry. Oh. Ah, stop talking. Ah, why should I stop talking? Nobody else is talking. Hey, Mysterious, do? where are you going? Oh no, can he swim? Hello? <laughs> That's what happens when little ladies ask too many questions. It makes people want to drown themselves. <laughs> ah, stop it. I'm pretty sure he'll be fine. Is Look, that bad? we have arrived. <laughs> he really, uh, it really just dropped off like that. 
just messed up. <laughs> oh. <gasps> Check that out. It's the toy graveyard, I'm telling you. Whatever you say, Miss Fortune. This is a bunch of toys. Kid toys out here. What time is it? It's getting really dark. This is Mr. Voice, are you there? Hello? There's something wrong here. Something very wrong. What's wrong, Mr. Voice? What do you mean? It's coming. Hide. Hide. I don't know what you're playing, but if you scare me, I'll close my eyes. Hide where? Hide So wait a minute. Is this island de deserted or something? Do anybody know about these missing toys? Like, has nobody been here? Oh. And the hero keeps popping up out of nowhere. So we assume he's dead. Like, is he a real person? Or just a figment of her imagination? Oh! Oh, oh damn it! My little foot got stuck. No, oh, isn't something coming? Ain't something bad? It's the monster, What's Mr. That? Voice. Can you see? Can you see it? <gasps> oh, we about to get took. Leave me alone. <laughs> what was that? What are you running away from? Is it the fox? I'm pretty sure it was the fox. That was not been no, it's the monster. I saw it again. You don't know what you're talking about. Yes, I do. I saw it. Oh, Lord. That was not Benjamin. Oh? Who are you videotaping? Don't make any sudden moves. Play dead or get up. I'm gonna get up. Cause I don't trust Mr. Voice, I really don't. Oh, you're the... boss. So soft. Don't touch her with your filthy paws, you beast. Stop it, <laughs> you're scaring him away. Is that a glitch? Don't leave, Benjamin. Apparently it was a glitch. <sighs> I, I I have no words. I'm speechless. Like, right? I had to literally start this whole game over just to and choose a different option instead of getting up. I had to play dead. So now I think now I can move. Yeah, see, now I can move because earlier I couldn't move. I was stuck. I couldn't move further. I couldn't move forward. So I had to start the game over. And now we're back. So, <laughs> uh, so this time we um, I'm just glad that uh she didn't attack him. Well, Please, I saved my Miss game Fortune, too. stop and listen to me. There's something I need to tell you. If you keep running, you'll end up badly hurt, and I don't want that. You're too important. But I want to find Benjamin. He was nice to me. Trust me, he's dangerous. Stop running, please. Stop to listen to Mr. Voice or keep running after Benjamin. Should we finally listen to him for once? I think we should stop just once. All right. Oh. Thank you. That could have ended badly. Now watch your step. There's a bear trap up ahead. You don't want to get stuck in one of those. Hurts like hell. Who will leave a bear trap here? I haven't seen any bears. Well, I don't want to point any fingers, but it was obviously the fox. Really? Also, I don't like the fox. I have what you call foxophobia. Is that true? Yes, I swear. Now, let's focus on the eternal happiness again. <laughs> All right. The one time we actually listened to him, he's actually trying to help us. But from previously, previous times, I just feel like he kept setting us up. But I'm glad I listened to him for once, because I don't know what would have happened if I would have kept running. Look at this. Who will leave this in the middle of nowhere like that? Oh, this makes me think about Bobsy, you know? 
Did, did I show you Bubsy the Teddy in the secret spot? Mm -hmm. He will be very sad to know about this, you know? This bear clubs, because he's a teddy bear. He lives in a world of fantasy where there are no bear clubs. And if he will go in the woods, he will see this and not know he's dying. Now I see Bubsy being killed by a oh. bear trap. That's how it is now. He's dead. Bubsy died. What are you talking about? <laughs> about Bubsy, don't you listen? Oh. Let's keep going now, <laughs> Miss Fortune. Bye, Bubsy. Trapped dead in the bear trap. Oh, we get to use a... What's it called? Glitter? Yep. <laughs> it's one of these little tomb things again. Did I save mass? Let's see what this one says. Oh, I did. Okay, good. It's stuck. Huh. The elimination of Prime Me will dissolve the filth of the beyond. Oh, really? Interesting. There's so much beyond talk in this game. It's stuck. Huh. Oh, it's stuck, so I guess we don't need it no more? Does that mean we must be getting close or something? Oh, look at all. The games you enjoy, you can have them all. Oh, nice. The games you enjoy, you can have them all. What this... are you doing? Nothing. So that's number six. So how many are there in total? And she's still not mentioning the fact that she found them to Mr. Voice. Does she know what they mean? So, Miss Fortune, I have a couple of questions for you. Oh. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Wonderful. Now, just be honest and think about it before answering. All First right. question. Do you believe in magic? Yes and no. Yes, I do. <laughs> I do. Yes, yes, I do. When mommy and daddy scream, I go to my secret hiding spot. And in my secret spot, they never drink juice and never scream at me. That's magical, don't you think? <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, it is, my sweet child. Moving on. Second question. Do you trust me? Oh. <sighs> now, that is a good question. Because the one time I actually do listen to him, he actually saved me from getting stuck in the bear trap. But before then, I just feel like he's been just setting us up for failure. Especially in that cave that one time when we had got trapped in there. And just so ironically how it just caved in when I try to leave. I think I think that's probably what happened to George. You saw that little like the little police tape on there on the crime scene. So I feel like I feel like he's setting us up. But at the same time he's helping us. But do I trust him though? Would she trust him? I'm just gonna say, for her sake, probably yes. I guess. I can only hear you in my head. And I trust my own head, so yeah. That makes me so happy to hear, Miss Fortune. Well, anyway. Now, for the third question. Are you afraid of dying? Oof, these questions are getting difficult to answer, but... I think... For my perspective, probably yes, because it's not like it's not like it's something I think about every day. But I know it's like the inevitable. How you say it? I don't know. Um, for me, yes, but for her, I don't, I don't know what she thinks about that. No, I'm not afraid of death because all 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 dead people I know never came back from being dead. So it must be pretty cool to be dead. <laughs> well, I guess you'll find out when you die. Why Looks like, like there's going to be a storm. Oh no, I hope it doesn't rain that much. I don't like my feet getting wet. I'm <laughs> a little lady, rain. you know. Hey, look at that. I think we're here. Benjamin! Stay cool, Miss Fortune. I'm cool. I'll keep oh. an eye out mm -hmm. here while you go inside and look for clues. I'm sure that Fox has hidden the eternal happiness here. Make sure the cabin is empty, and if you see the fox, 
Brooks, run. All right. What's this on the wall right here? Ah, oh, it looks like Benjamin's good at cutting wood. He must be so muscular. <laughs> but she likes them the fox. But what's this like attached to? It looks like the stick dolls. Just not the stick dolls. And they have like little antlers. It looks like the monster they were trying to get us. Is it trying to ward off the monster? Let's, let's go in. Let's just find out. <laughs> this is be brave, creepy. Miss Fortune. Yes, be brave. This is getting creepy. Okay, I will look around. Maybe I can find my eternal happiness. If Benjamin has it, I ask him to share that prize with us and everything will be fine. I like the fact that she doesn't act like want to do intent, like harm him for stealing her. Cause that's, that's not her. That's not her. I don't think she'll do something like that. Is this Benjamin's? He got some sweet style. I like it. <laughs> he got a nice little house. Wow, a video player. Fonsu! Got a video player and everything. What did I do? In woods? Let's see. <gasps> Benjamin's on TV? <laughs> is is that the oh. monster? Damn it. Uh -oh. I broke Benjamin's yeah. tape. Come on, we were just so close to find out what that thing was. At least I don't think it harmed Maybe me. I can fix it. With glitter. Okay. Happiness to the video player! <laughs> Ah, oh, what a cozy couch. Is that Benjamin's diary? Read Benjamin's diary or respect Benjamin's privacy. You think he'll get mad if we read it? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna respect it. I'm gonna respect it. I won't spy on Benjamin's personal stuff. Hopefully it doesn't doesn't bite me in the ass later. <laughs> It looks like Benjamin likes to educate himself. I like that in a fox. <laughs> the upside the upside of being a spiritual animal. The fun stories of a boring man. It looks like Benjamin likes to educate himself. I like that in a fox. <laughs> Death after life. Learning how to be gray. Communication. Key to co cooperation. What's this upside of being a spirit? He's like a spirit animal, so he's studying. Look at that. Benjamin looks so pretty in that hat. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, there was something in over here. Mmm. That cheese smells like roses and lemon. I bet it's called Benjamin's Blend. <laughs> because I can almost smell his paws blending the ingredients. Whoa. Maybe I should try it out. No, cause... No, just leave it alone. Just till you didn't see it. No, hmm. no, no. Mr. Voice said that I shouldn't trust a fox. I mean, I trust him. I just don't want to drink that stuff. Cause from what I've encountered throughout this entire gameplay is dope. Nothing in your mouth. Oh, <gasps> Benjamin, I'm really sorry I broke your video player, but you stole the eternal happiness. It was promised to me if I beat the game. I really want it back. We can totally share it if you want. Oh. Are you afraid of the thunder, Benjamin? Don't worry. You can hold my hand if you want to. <laughs> What's he doing? Oh, what are you? Is this a kiss? Oh. Is this really happening? What is that? Is that your diary? You want me to read it? Is that what you're afraid of? Orgo. I think I saw him too. That's his name? Feeling no stomach aches, only gas. I go help missing victims in town. So you help missing victims? He's, is he helping the missing children? I'm not missing. No. Morgo, no, I'm here. Morgo play old. He stretched that word out. Trick. Many times now. But it makes, but it makes mistake. But it makes mistake. 
one victim can hear is inside her head. So he's talking about me. I can hear Mr. Voice inside her my head, Miss Fortune's head. Victim code, Miss Fortune is a nice code. Morgan can't have her say, boss. She must be rescued, but I follow steps. I saw Morgan take shape. Scary. You can't hide the children. Oh, I just realized something. Are you rescuing me, Benjamin? Like if I was a girl in trouble? I just realized. Mr. Voice, is Mr. Voice Mor Morgo? I'm about to say Morgan. Is Mr. Voice Morgo? Benjamin, where did you go? Did he just evaporate? Where'd he go? Oh no, is this Benjamin? Oh lord, what happened to Benjamin? Where'd he go that fast? There's a hole behind the painting. Hello? Can we go through? I can't reach it. I'm a little lady, you know. <laughs> I, I guess we're gonna use the, um, this? Uh-huh, such a clever little lady. Okay. Time to use my ninja skills. Let's hurry up, I think you're like right behind us. Oh! <laughs> yes. Shh! What a bad crack! <laughs> Be quiet! <laughs> this is a ninja mission! <laughs> she must be a whole all day. Are you here? You got weapons back here? Look at all this. So it was Benjamin placing these. But Benjamin seems so nice. Maybe he put them for that monster. Yeah, I don't think he was necessarily putting them for her. I think it was more so he was doing it to ward off Morgo now. Because that explains, that kind of explains why um, he doesn't, he has this hatred towards Benjamin. Every time we mention Benjamin or anything related to Benjamin, he just gets upset or talks down on him or something like that. And now that we see these traps and we read his diary, which I'm glad we didn't read. Maybe, you know, we didn't read his personal, he just gave it to us. And now that we know, well, well I'm assuming Morgo is Mr. Voice. Because she's the only one who could hear him in her head. And you notice her name is in his book, Misfortune. So, yeah, she he's been protecting us this entire time, but we've just been listening to Mr. Voice. So basically, yeah. <laughs> I'm still laughing about that part. <laughs> she tried to get over that thing, the door. Hmm, kind of fish balls? This is like sushi balls. What? So yeah, he was setting these traps trying to protect himself and maybe even misfortune and maybe other children, missing children. So that means Morgo or Mr. Voice has something to do with those missing children? Huh, it's luck. Of course it is. Where'd he go that fast, though? Hmm, a picture of a key. Interesting. Is something My behind ninja the senses are telling me to climb up on this chair. Please don't fall. Hmm, a real ninja lady always touches everything. <laughs> <laughs> a secret button. Push the button, yeah. Isn't he like right behind us? We need to figure it out. Alright then. I push the button. <clears throat> Is this okay from the crash you know? Okay. You can sure now. This game has gotten a lot scarier. That was easy. Yeah, I noticed his voice right. changed too. Time to find Bangy. Sound a little oh. demonic. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was unfortunate. I hope things get better when I got the eternal happiness. Mm, I'm... <laughs> okay, Miss Fortune. Let's finish this. Get up, yes, get up. Tatakaye. <laughs> get up, Miss Fortune. Yes. Channel your inner air Yega. You are stronger than you think. <laughs> 
You've been knocked down before. Exactly, get up. We've been through worse, we've seen worse. Did you let that stop you? But we didn't. Get up, Miss Fortune. You can do it. I, can't, I have to press the space bar. Because... 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 Your misfortune? You are the yep. little lady, Miss Fortune! <laughs> <laughs> okay, she, need, she needed that boost. <laughs> okay. We're gonna need it for whatever we, whatever we about to um, encounter. Okay, oh, I'm out again. Anyone here? Bungie? Mr. Voice? I guess I'm alone. Oh, Lord. Oh, a oh, baby dear. So sweet. Mm, dream come true. Uh -oh. I'm petting the baby dear. <laughs> it's not gonna bite us, is it? Okay. Yeah. Just in case. Uh oh. Is that Benjamin's bag? Benjamin? Are you around? He must be in trouble. I'm very disappointed in you, Miss Fortune. Ah, there you are. Hey, have you seen Benjamin? I think he's in trouble. Didn't you hear what I just said? I'm very disappointed in you. Mr. Voice, please, stop playing games. You have lied to me all the time and that's very sucky. Mm -hmm. I trusted you. What are you talking about? Benjamin made it really clear with a picture he showed me. You're the one taking the children. Yep. And I... I'm not the hero of this game, right? I guess the eternal happiness was all a lie. Stop this nonsense. We have to keep playing my game. You can't make me. Yes, I can. Ooh. Ooh. Stop that! Then play with me. You need to find your eternal happiness. I'll give you a clue. It's at home, waiting for you. I'm sick of that eternal happiness. I don't want it anymore. You can't say that. That would break the rules. You heard me. I don't want the eternal happiness anymore. I won't tolerate this behavior. I'll be waiting for you at home. Ooh. No. Tell me where Benjamin is. What do you do to him? Freaking monster. So, yep. It's been confirmed. Morgo is Mr. Voice. Or Mr. Voice is Morgo. Let's see what's inside. Maybe a clue where to find Benjamin. He said we gotta go back home. How are we gonna get back home? Oh, this is really mysterious. UST must be a school or something for students of the University of what technology protector curse force three-step guide three-step guide to exterminate parasitic beings from the beyond introduction as the ultra reality forms in hand with the concept of time new realms outside the constituted FREE -E, free realm of ex essential existence have appeared after the Ultra War, thousands of beings were discovered as byproducts of the war. They created for themselves a new realm. We refer to it as the Beyond. Oh, the Beyond? The Beyond is, in simple terms, a place of extreme absur absurdity? What? <laughs> no, with no logical laws of physics. We can't allow such beings inside the FREE -E at the moment. Since the foundation of our reality is based in the energetic and ethical values of the ultra reality, before the ultra war, the beyond is still a misunderstood realm. We haven't yet found the pieces to connect it with in a logical manner. The few patterns we recognize are the behaviors of some visitors as known as parasites. What are these parasites? They normally enter the third reality, a.k.a. Pandora, and seek fresh meat to lure into the beyond. Whoa. So is Morgo... Uh, um, 
it's, it's the Pandora or something? They try to lure the fresh meat, which I think is us, into the beyond? Because that's pretty much what they've been saying throughout this entire game is beyond. And that's why we need need the protectors. Well, I'm assuming the protectors are Benjamin. The protectors are the only ones with the uh, capability of seeing the imbalance between realities and using the tools available inside the ultra reality. Protectors will help victims and guide them into sincerity? Sincerity? What? So yeah, he um the protector, which is Benjamin, is supposed to help victims and guide them. So I'm assuming. I wonder if has he done this with the other children, the missing children? Has he done it with them? Or is it just me specifically, Miss Fortune? The guidance provided in this book must be followed with great responsibility. Never skip a step. For each victim, the protector returns to Cenericity. I'm not say that word. I'm butchering that word. I can't read. <laughs> the protector will be rewarded with new levels, tools, and new steps to follow. So I guess like after he saves a child, he just keeps going moving and moving on to the next, I guess. The parasite. Yep, the par the parasite's case. Yep, Morgo. Yep. The protector must locate the victims in the parasite. So the victim is me, I'm assuming. Or the other children in the parasite is Morgo. Yeah. Protector's parasite case. All that number is in Morgo. <laughs> Evaluate if the victim is in need of assistance. If so, then proceed to step two. Need to assist need of assistance checklist number one the victim seems to have forgotten his or her identity the victim is already dead but doesn't realize it what the victim is already dead but doesn't realize it oh, hold on wait a minute the victim believes an illusion of the beyond or real the victim sympathizes with the parasite Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. Let me read. Let me read this. Checklist of parasite. Deform. Deforms reality into absurdity. Parasite seems friendly yet it lures the victim to play dangerous games. Yep. That's exactly what he's been doing. If shapeshift, it shapeshifts into a human animal creature. It quickly learns about the environment, language, and culture are not an issue for this parasite. Large flocks of black birds will appear near the parasite. These birds are the eyes of Morgo. <laughs> that explains so much. Giving him an overview of his playing ground. Oh my gosh. That makes so much sense now. Paint? I like to paint. Step two. Use the surroundings to help the victim become aware of the parasite. The par I mean the, the protector can, for example, write and paint simple messages in public spaces to increase awareness. It is strictly forbidden to interact directly with the victim. It can lead to irreversibility, irreversible trauma inside the victim's mind. If the parasite kills the victim, you will need to proceed to step three immediately. Oh, that explains why he was writing those little symbols on the ground. I think that was episode two of my gameplay. The little paint, the red paint on the ground and the way we were doing it in the woods. And when I stepped in it and tried to finish the little symbols, it, um, created this like force field to like I guess protect me so I was right this entire time. Benjamin is protecting us. With the what? Now I will never know. And we can't and Benjamin can't interact with us. So prepare for direct contact with and it's torn out. At the end of the road you will realize you already signed the deal. A deal you say? Oh lord, it's making more sense now. So basically, I didn't sign the deal. It's too late. I can't get out of this. Yeah, I've already signed the deal. <laughs> Is that Benjamin also, baby? Oh, so cute. Hey, little earbuds. I want to steal that little fox. Is that it, I think? That was a lot of information. I'm glad I decided to read that. I'm pretty sure that's the only way we can read it. <laughs> so now what? Do we go home or? Yeah, we kept going forward. Where did Benjamin go? Where did he go that fast? Oh, there he is. Why did he, did he leave it there for us on purpose or something? Why did he leave? 
All she right. still smell I like guess I'll <laughs> take the train back home. What? Come back in here. Oh. <laughs> see, now these are starting to make now sense. Now when I look at this, I can see what Benjamin yep. tried to warn me about. He knew all along. Such a foxy boy. Yep, he, she, he was telling us all along. Okay, I'll wait here. Waiting, waiting for a little while. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna talk to myself. Oh lord. Ooh. So, Miss Fortune, how have you been? Okay, I have this, like, weird day. I saw monsters, I saw dolls, I saw Benjamin, and then I went to the zoo and everything was everywhere. And then I realized <laughs> Mr. Voice had lied to me a lot. And he took Benjamin. And now I'm alone. I don't like being alone. Wow. Sounds like you had one hell of a day, Miss Fortune. <laughs> the train is here. It was a nice chat, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Talk to you later. You go, girl. <laughs> you notice how we don't listen to... You don't hear Mr. Voice in our head anymore. He stopped talking. I know it's on her hat. It had like a skull. You know what that means? Death? What? What is this? I guess we get to color while you wait until we get home. I'm glad we did bring this though. <laughs> I forgot all about it. We ain't gotta get it all correct, do we? Like, all of it. I'm really shaking my destiny. Don't want nothing to fall on either. Yeah, this, this is all making sense to me now. Like, this whole. It, it just makes sense. Because he's been shady since day one for me, but I tried to give him the benefit of the doubt because I really thought he was trying to help us, but he really wasn't. Cause how ironic how he wants to, why he chose me of all people though. Did I get it all? How does one color, one crayon make all these colors? <laughs> I can't even pronounce the name of this either. <laughs> I'm not gonna try to butcher that name. I've already butchered so many other words. Let's just keep going. Oh, that that's that word is even difficult. Oh, oh, oh okay. <laughs> I got an achievement though. It says I'm a uh, painter. I don't feel inspired. Uh. Hello, Hiro. I didn't recognize you. Hm. Such a coincidence that you're on the same train as me. You're not gonna ask where you, you know, came from? I had a big fight with the silly voice in my head. I get the feeling that Mr. Voice is not who he says he is. Have you ever heard voices in your head? I know, Hira. What does it mean? Beware it's of the, the monster. Leave Hira alone. Tuskata. Tuskata. Help, Hira. Help him. At least try to help. Hira, hold my hand. Ah, ah. He's a ghost. Ah, God, he's Hira. a ghost. It says, "Beware of the con consequences on the the window." So there was more of a reaching out for a hero. But what were those little, no children? Like, more of his victims? I'm just here to get home. I'm worried now. Where's mom? I 
hope I get to see Hiro again. I wonder what that monster did to him. Ugh. Now I have to walk all the way back home alone. This is the last time I follow a voice in my head. If Benjamin was here, he would walk with me. Ugh. You see those birds back there? So this whole time those birds were his eyes and ears. Benjamin was warning me all the time, but I couldn't see it. Mm -hmm. I wanted that eternal happiness so bad. I'm a silly little lady. That's what I am. Oh. Not silly, just... At least I had fun at Phantasmagoria. <laughs> I'm gonna tell mommy about it. If she's even alive. Ugh. Keep the can. <laughs> Oh. oh. No, don't mess with me now. Excuse me. I'm talking over here. <laughs> well, if that's how you treat little ladies, then give yourself a fuck. Oh. <laughs> and we don't have Mr. Voice to come and correct us or more of Nobody's acknowledging us anyway. Oh, we made it home. Look at them birds again. Oh, Lord. Let me hurry up. Huh. It's so spooky Where's out the here. Car? Is that a gun again? It's scary. Let's go check on Mom. Oh, it's red. You know what that we means? We got red Danger. lights. I like them. Oh, Lord. Please don't think we're going to see her dead somewhere. Mommy, I'm back. Hello? Where did everybody go? Or where's all the stuff? What's that sound? Benji? Mm -mm. Is that a dog? Like a dog. What's going on? It's too quiet. Hello? Mommy? Bangi? What happened here? Congratulations. Oh. You reached the end of my game. Leave me alone. I'm looking for Mommy and Benjamin. There's no eternal happiness for you. I don't even care anymore. Of course you care. You know your Mommy needs it. It's your responsibility. Yes. I guess you're right. Good. Good. Ready for a new game? If I play along, will you give me back Benjamin? I guess I will. But only if you truly commit to the game. Okay. Splendid. You will love my new game. You see, you heard his voice? It sounded a lot like disoriented or something. I'm killing. This is Miss Fortune. She's a wonderful child from a not so wonderful family. A little sparkle for you, and a little sparkle for you. Wait a minute. Didn't I do this already? Exactly. What? No, you're not doing this correctly. Then you say something about me dying today, which is totally not true, by the way. <clears throat> Wait. Stop talking, please. Are we oh. going to play another game, or is this like what? I don't understand. If you can reach the end of the game, I'll give you eternal happiness. And then you say deal, and I say yes. Stop ruining this! <laughs> uh, eternal happiness? No deal! Wonderful. Fantastic. Ready to... wait. What? No deal. No. No. Uh, how about this? What if the fox was waiting for you in the hallway? If the game is about Benjamin and you leaving me alone, I'll play along. Sure, sure. I promise. Hmm. You know the way. So we back at square one? If Mr. Voice scares me again, I'm gonna run and hide in here. Can he, like, hear you now? I have a little hunch that Mr. Voice is the monster in my closet. 
Probably was, yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna play his game one last time. Wait, so we're doing this all over again? Oh, shift and move, yep. Uh, Here you go again. <laughs> oh no, not again. You promised he wouldn't be like last time. That was a beautiful example of cause and effect. Ma, you lied to me. I don't want to play this game anymore. Fine. Let me come up with a new game to play. Um. New game. Knock knock. Who's there? No, I don't want to play with you anymore. Knock knock. Who's there? Uh -uh. You're scaring me, stupid. Leave me alone. Knock knock. Knock knock. Who's there? What happened here? My secret spot. He won't find me in there. Well, let's go to him. Everything just disappeared, too, by the way. Open this door right now, Miss Fortune. We have a new game to play. No, I told you already. I don't want to play with you anymore. Oh, what? sweet unicorn. Please take me to your rainbow kingdom. Ah! Oh! So now we're playing hide and seek. I love that game. No, leave me alone. All right. Just so you know, my game is the only thing keeping you alive. Is that one more of your lies? I will live forever with Benjamin, and there's nothing you can do about it. Will you please stop talking about that fox? He's been trying to take you away from me all the time, and his ugly paintings. Ugh. Oh no, you don't talk like that about my Ooh, Benjamin. Okay. <laughs> you know what? I'm done with you. I want you to leave. Right now. You don't have a clue about what's going on. This is not the last game you play with me, Miss Fortune. This is only the beginning. Ah! What was that? You silly little child. Another toy for my collection. Oh! You're mine to play with for eternity. I'm sick of you being a bully. You'll see, Benjamin will come back and save me. No, we made a deal. You crossed the path, and now you're mine. Oh, oh. oh okay. <laughs> Benjamin? Benjamin? Oh. <laughs> How did you get here? There's nothing oh. you can do. She belongs to me. Uh oh. Benjamin? <laughs> okay. No. What do you have to do? No! Too. The little beware sign right there on the tree. Oh, another doll. Is everything back to normal now? Benjamin saved me. Benji, are you around? This saving, hold on. Benjamin, did you go outside? I don't see the birds outside anymore. 
Morgo is coming. Open your eyes. He is the voice in your head, driving you mad. Morgo is coming. Open your eyes. He's the voice in your head, driving you mad. I got another achievement too, but I couldn't see what to say. But yeah, well, what? Now I know what to call Mr. Voice. Yeah, like... If that would've... Benjamin, Ugh. where are you? So who's leaving around those dolls? Is it... Is it Benjamin? Not letting me interact with anything. Is mom alive? Oh, oh, she gone. October 11th. What was it er, before? Mommy? I don't remember. Oh, Lord. What's going on? I don't like this. I don't see anything. Oh, she got a mask on, too. It's all the cop. Mommy! Something happened to the dad? I'm back. Mommy, don't ignore me. Are you angry because I couldn't get the happiness for you? What's happening? Mommy? <laughs> this must be a bad dream. Is she dead? Or she can see ghosts? What's going on? <gasps> Is that... The truck, the tire tracks look like it leads to the the cars right there. That, don't tell me our dad ran us over. Oh wow, she's dead. She's been dead this entire time. So it must have been like when we first stepped out of the house, we went across the street. Oh, we were dead this entire time. Bengi, wait. Are you taking me somewhere else? Because I have nothing against it. But I have to talk with my mommy first. Mommy, I'm going to go somewhere else. With Bengi, okay? He's the fox that I like. I'm a little lady, you know? That's what I am. I guess I was your little misfortune for a while. But you need to find your own happiness now. I love you forever. Oh, man. Did this entire time. Whew. I think the dad must have killed us. Wait, stop, Benjamin. Where are we going? Yeah, where are we going? Benji? Right. Are we back on that island again? Or are we going to his house? Oh, puppy! There's I'm so puppy. happy to see you again. 
A little party. Wait for me, puppy. Oh lord. They bring back memories. Oh. <laughs> what was that? Beyond or something? My dog's still smiling. <laughs> oh, sorry, it's <laughs> not funny. <laughs> This place is really cold. Oh lord, don't tell me this is somewhere else. Oh look. Sorry for what I did to you earlier. Episode 1, check it out. Achievement, sparkling lady. Is that a good thing? Not at all. All that all around disasters seem to disappear deep inside the fog. You defeat him. All around disasters seem to disappear deep inside the fog. You defeat him. So I defeated Morgo, yeah, of course. Huh. Everything... I guess Mr. Voice game is over now. Yep. Benji? Oh, I think we can move. Oh. Who are you? I'm a little lady. Miss Fortune. That's who I am. Lady Miss Fortune? Yes. You could say that. Good. Step inside. We were expecting you. Okay. What is this place? Oh, we're back with the mom. Oh! Eternal happiness. So the mom did get the eternal happiness after all. She got misfortunes, eternal happiness. <laughs> I 
I got another achievement somewhere else. <laughs> we finished the game. Oh man. I'm at a loss for words right now. Oh, yeah. So this whole time, I kind of felt like something weird was going on. As soon as like they gave us the option to cross the street, when they did that little like that little weird ultra reality thing in the streets, when we crossed the street, it did like this weird vortex, whatever thing you want to call it. So is that is that when it necessarily happened? So as soon as I crossed the street, well, I tried to cross the street. Turns out I was dead this entire time. So. When I got up and walked and kept continuing to go on, was that me being dead this entire time? And me not realizing it? Like it said in, in Benjamin's diary, that the victim wouldn't realize that they're dead this entire time. But why Mr. Voice, I mean, Morgo, of all people, come to me? And so what he did to me is what he did to other children. Is that so he must have did that to Hero and all the other missing posters that we saw around, around the town. He must have did that to other kids too. So he wasn't necessarily targeting kids, like younger kids. So why was he doing it why was he doing it in the first place? Oh man, she was, she was dead this entire time. So is that why people couldn't see us? Like they wouldn't they weren't talking to us because we were dead this entire time? We were talking to those teenagers. In the street when going back home they weren't acknowledging us mom wasn't even acknowledging us either so is that why we were because nobody because we were dead but i thought the game started as soon as she stepped outside when she went across the street or did it start this entire time it was in the beginning of the game And that last bit. So, me sparkling, throwing glitter all over, over the place was relevant. Because it, it it was supposed to, like, I guess symbolize her happiness right there. I guess all the things that's going on in this world, she still managed to find the, the happiness in it all, I guess. So, us sparkling that stuff on um, was really important, to be honest, I think. And collecting those dolls. Because even though we didn't know what they mean at the time... It made sense. So in the end, her mom ended up getting the eternal happiness after all. Her collecting all those, well, me throwing the glitter around the place. So I'm glad I didn't skip anything, because apparently I didn't skip anything, which is really good. Because I, I thought there were, because I thought there were, I made a few times where I actually did skip something. But I'm glad I didn't. I don't know how many dolls I was supposed to capture, but I think I captured about nine. I think not. But yeah, guys. That was Little Misfortune. <laughs> I enjoyed this game a lot. I really did. Thank you guys for watching this entire gameplay with me. I really enjoyed this game. I really enjoyed just seeing how the story progressed and how dark it got real quick. Especially with Morgo with his voice changing and it sounded real creepy. And when we finally saw his actual, you know, figure, I'm like, whoa, this is what we've been listening to this whole entire time? But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!